work it, make it, do it, makes us Harder, better, faster, stronger Hi, I'm Joe Boring, coming to you live from our facility in Oak Creek, Wisconsin, here to showcase our new Q-Line cutting system with undercutter camera registration along with our VHS 180 automated board handling system. Today we're going to be cutting E-Flute cardboard with our print side down, registering from the underside, creasing and cutting from the top. Let me get the job started and we can see the equipment in action. The feeder spider for our BHS 180 has sensors for detecting our stack height as well as the location of our sheets. This allows us to adjust for misaligned stacks and uh, correct as necessary. The front row of suction cups are on independently controllable pistons, which allows us to make a fully customizable cycle to ensure proper material separation regardless of static cling. The BHS 180 is capable of handling stacks up to 70 inches in height. Our feeder is now placing our sheet on the end of the table and our undercutter camera is going to be recognizing our registration marks along with the board edge. There are two stabilizing arms to hold down the edges of our sheet and ensure we have high fidelity image capture, uh, maximizing our accuracy. The system is capable of recognizing uh, QR codes so we can run fully automated stacks of material with mixed jobs and the orientation of the sheet does not matter. Now the sheet is brought into our work area. The cutter is capable of loading whichever tool is necessary for the job from our tool magazines located on the side of the cutter. We'll take a closer look at those in a few moments. Once we have the correct tool selected, we use our ITI system for touchless initialization to accurately find the ends of our tool inserts. With the Q-Line system, we have our new Creto 150 with six inch creasing wheel and we're now capable of applying up to 50 kilograms of creasing pressure with our Automo L modules. We also have new maintenance-free oscillating tools with a variety of stroke heights for various substrates. While we're cutting our first sheet here, the feeder is preparing the next one in the stack to ensure we have seamless production with minimal pauses. Each beam is working on a different part of our sheet, but we're also capable of multi-page loading with each beam handling separate sheets independently. For those of you familiar with our BHS 150 system, you may note that the BHS 180 has a completely flat stacker surface. The entire conveyor assembly pivots downward to ensure a smooth stack process, giving us perfectly lined stacks of material. The system is also capable of offsetting sheets based on job ID or sheet count for easy sorting for our operators later. We can also identify misprinted sheets and offset them in a way to allow identification for reprocessing later. The Q-Line is equipped with linear drive motors for frictionless motion and high-speed cutting with the same accuracy we would expect from our Gen 3 line of Zune cutters. The machine is capable of cutting at 110 inches a second with 2.1 Gs of acceleration. Our frame has been upgraded with a mineral cast base to eliminate unnecessary vibration and deliver a strong, robust platform for our tools. The beam is made out of a high-strength plastic with carbon fiber reinforcement to reduce weight while increasing stability. Our workstation 
has an easy rotating base so we can orient ourselves however we want with the cutter and a motorized lift and lower to accommodate any operator. With ZCC version 4 on our dual beam systems, we're capable of cutting two separate jobs at the same time, each beam working on different jobs independently. Why don't we pause the machine now and take a closer look at our tool changing system. There are two magazines on the machine, one for each beam, and they can be loaded with a couple of different configurations. Our default configuration is seven tool slots, five for our standard size tool and two for our larger creasing wheel, but we're also capable of accommodating up to eight standard size tools. All of the tools for the Q-Line come with a DMC code printed on them so the cutter can recognize them automatically. We can use this with our new TOMAC or Tool Management Center to pair these with blades that also have DMC codes printed on them. This allows us to track the uh, life of each blade individually and ensure we're maintaining our maximum quality of cuts. I can also export my required uh, tools for my production schedule to prepare them away from the cutter ahead of time. I'm able to select which tool I want to work on through my software interface, but I can also quickly switch with my button here in the magazine, moving along to the next one in the slot. All right, let's go ahead and close this magazine up and get back into cutting. It will take just a few moments as the cutter needs to rescan our magazine to ensure I haven't made any unexpected changes. We can take a closer look here at one of the boxes we've cut today. So this has uh, been processed completely face down with uh, recognizing our print from the underside and doing all of our creasing and cutting from the top side, which allows us to fold our box in nicely like this. If you have any questions, feel free to approach anybody in our booth here for more information or go ahead and put them into chat and we'll address them here in a few moments.
cutting system. We'll be back again at 1 p.m. Eastern time today.